Hi guys! Happy New Year! Today I'm going to show you how to make a really complicated dessert, but it's really show-stopping. It's a four-layered raspberry and almond cheesecake. It's, um, it's really worth its effort to make it for like Christmas parties or like New Year's. It's just gonna be like, wow. Hopefully. I hope. Um, so I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Here are the ingredients that you'll need for the crust. Combine the butter and sugar in a mixing bowl. Whisk until well combined and fluffy. Add the egg yolk and combine with the whisk again. Sift the flour through a sieve. Sifting it through a sieve will ensure that there are no lumps. Gradually combine the flour with the mixture with a spatula until the mixture resembles breadcrumbs. Using your hands, form the mixture into a dough. Transfer the dough onto a piece of plastic film. Wrap it around and put it in the fridge for one hour. Here are the ingredients for the almond cream. Combine the butter, sugar, and whisk until well combined and fluffy. Add the egg and whisk until well combined. Sift the ground almonds through a sieve. Sifting it will ensure that you have a smooth mixture. Combine the ingredients with a spatula until well combined. And set it aside. Here are the ingredients for the cheesecake souffle. Let's start. Turn on the burner onto low heat. Combine the cream cheese with the milk. Constantly stir with a whisk to prevent any lumps from forming while it heats up. Allow the mixture to thicken as shown. Remove from the heat. Add in the egg yolk and combine well. Sift the flour and the melted milk powder. Combine the mixture until smooth. Let's make the meringue. This egg white was in the freezer for 10 minutes to allow it to whip faster. Transfer to a metal bowl and using a whisk, continue whisking until it starts to foam. Gradually add the sugar and continue to whisk until it forms stiff peaks. Shown here is the ideal stiff peak. Gradually add some of the meringue into the other mixture. Gradually fold the two together until it starts to double in volume. Set it aside. Let's go back to the crust. Remove the plastic film from the dough. Using the bottom of your cake tin, press the dough down until it reaches a quarter inch in thickness. Remove the excess dough. This is the first layer of the cake. Put it into the cake tin and fit the edges. Using parchment will ensure easy cleanup. Next, put the almond cream on top of the crust. 
making sure to remove any excess air. Now add the cheesecake souffle on top of the almond cream and bake it at a 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for 40 minutes. Test to see if the cake is done by inserting a knife into the center of the cake. The knife should come out clean. Allow it to cool. Let's make the raspberry no-bake cheesecake. Add the whipping cream into a bowl. I recommend you chill it first. Add sugar. Using a whisk, whip the cream and sugar until they form medium peaks. Shown here is medium peaks. Beat the cream cheese until it becomes soft and fluffy. Add the raspberry jam. And raspberry yogurt. Combine with a whisk until well combined. Combine the gelatin with hot water. Stir constantly until the lumps have disappeared. Add it to the yogurt and cream cheese mixture. And beat it with a whisk until well combined. Gradually add the whipping cream into the mixture. Let's add the fourth layer to the cake. Place three quarters of the no-bake cheesecake on top of the cake. Smooth it out. And drop it on the surface to remove any excess air bubbles. Put it in the fridge for at least two hours. Let's decorate the cake. Add some chocolate chips into a microwavable bowl and microwave it for 60 seconds until melted. Stir the chocolate until completely melted. Place the melted chocolate onto a metal pan. Using the back of your spoon, spread the chocolate to achieve thin sheets. Put it in the fridge for 30 minutes until hardened. Remove the cake from its tin. And remove the parchment paper. Using the remaining no-bake cheesecake, spread it around the sides of the cake to seal the cake. Place the chocolate sheets around the sides and add the fresh raspberries. You may also put some of the remaining no-bake cheesecake in a piping bag and pipe it around the cake. These are wafer cookies. Place one on the cake. These are chocolate mushrooms called Choco Boy. Place them on the cake as well. This is roasted soybean flour. The gold color will complement the luxurious taste of the cake. I hope you enjoy this recipe, as it may be complicated, but it is well worth it.